While global military enthusiasts were still speculating about when the H-20 would make its debut, who could have imagined that China's aviation industry had quietly unveiled a three-plane formation strategy, showcasing three entirely different sixth-generation fighter prototypes to demonstrate what true Chinese speed really means. In August 2025, photos of a uniquely designed fighter jet with a W-shaped trailing edge and no vertical tail taking flight at the Northwest test site sparked a global military forum frenzy. This not only signaled that the final piece of China's sixth-generation fighter puzzle had been completed, but also marked the entry of the U.S.-China aerial superiority competition into a new phase. In just half a year, China's three major aviation giants delivered three strikingly different yet equally impressive answers at an astonishing pace. In December 2024, Chengdu Aircraft Industry Corporation's J-36 took to the skies first, with its massive three-engine flying wing layout and seven-meter-long bomb bay described by foreign media as a combination of a stealth bomber and a fighter jet. In March 2025, Shenyang Aircraft Corporation's J-50 followed suit, showcasing its superior air superiority performance with a twin-engine tailless delta wing design, and in August, Xi'an Aircraft Corporation unveiled this W-tail stealth carrier-based aircraft, specifically tailored for the Type 004 nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, completing China's strategic layout for sixth-generation aircraft across all domains, air, land, and sea. This iterative pace, almost akin to an interprovincial arms race, not only demonstrates China's aviation industry's robust R&D capabilities, but also showcases an unprecedented systemic innovation capability, three parallel technical routes advancing in tandem, with land-based air superiority, long-range strike, and carrier-based coordination developing in unison, completely shattering the Western stereotype of China as merely imitating and catching up. In contrast, the U.S. sixth-generation aircraft project has fallen into a quagmire of development difficulties. Although the U.S. Air Force officially unveiled the F-47 project in January 2025, claiming it will feature stealth plus-plus capabilities and an ultra-long combat radius, the program remains stuck in the PowerPoint and concept diagram phase, with the first prototype not expected to debut until 2028. More concerning is that the claimed combat radius of 1,852 kilometers is said to be a laboratory figure under ideal conditions, which could significantly decrease in actual combat, possibly falling below 1,000 kilometers, far inferior to the estimated 3,500 kilometer combat radius of China's J-36. The F-47's touted stealth, plus-plus performance has also faced professional skepticism, as the canard wing design depicted in its renderings contradicts the U.S. military's long-standing stealth doctrine. The U.S. had previously dismissed the canard wing of China's J-20 as compromising stealth, yet now finds itself forced to follow China's lead. Additionally, technical bottlenecks such as frequent cracks in the high-pressure turbine blades of the XA-100 variable cycle engine and the JAD-2 command system's inability to achieve practical application until at least 2030 due to data barriers between military branches have left the U.S. sixth-generation fighter program significantly behind China. The success of China's sixth-generation fighter program is no accident, but a concentrated manifestation of systemic advantages. First, in terms of technological integration, China has established a complete combat ecosystem. The KJ-3000 early warning aircraft provides all domain situational awareness, the PL-17 ultra-long-range missile expands strike ranges, and a new data link system enables human-machine swarm integrated combat operations. Second, in terms of R&D speed, China took only 10 years from the J-20 service entry to the debut of the sixth-generation prototype, while the U.S. spent a full 30 years from the F-22 to the GAD. This efficiency gap directly translates into a technological generation gap. Most importantly, China's innovative breakthrough capabilities are remarkable. The j 36 full-spectrum stealth capabilities and ultra-large weapons bay, the J-50's full-control wing-tip deformation technology, and the Xiangfei carrier-based aircraft's W-shaped trailing edge and variable sweep wing design have all left Western defense experts in awe. What is particularly surprising is that Xi'an Aircraft Industry Corporation, which has traditionally focused on bombers and transport aircraft, has successfully crossed over into the development of a sixth-generation carrier-based fighter. Its dual-wheel nose landing gear design enhances strength by 300%, specifically adapted to withstand the immense impact forces during carrier landings. When the wings are folded, the aircraft's width is just 7.2 meters, perfectly suited to the elevator requirements of the Type 004 nuclear-powered aircraft carrier 
demonstrating China's remarkable cross-industry innovation capabilities in aviation, the division of labor and collaboration among China's sixth-generation fighter trio reflect profound strategic considerations. Shenyang Aircraft Corporation's J-50 is focused on air superiority, featuring a diamond-shaped flying wing aerodynamic layout, combined with plasma flow control technology, eliminating traditional control surfaces, making it a true ghost of aerial combat. Chengdu Aircraft Industry Corporation's J-36 serves as an airborne fortress for long-range strikes, featuring a three-engine heavy design and an eight-ton weapons payload with an astonishing range of 6,000 kilometers, specifically tasked with long-range penetration strikes, while Xi'an Aircraft Industry Corporation's carrier-based aircraft becomes the Sea Sky Blade, featuring a tailless design, landa wings, and variable sweep wings, specifically designed for carrier strike groups. This division of labor is not merely a matter of quantity but is focused on the needs of future system-based combat. Future air combat will no longer be a one-on-one -on -one duel but a system-based confrontation involving human-machine group coordination and cross-service three-dimensional operations. The integration of AI algorithms, unmanned wingmen, and long-range sensing will directly determine the ownership of air superiority. China has already taken the lead in establishing this future combat system. A single J-36 can simultaneously command 20 drones to form an air wolf pack, with reconnaissance drones conducting forward detection, electronic warfare drones interfering communications, and attack drones launching missiles, while the manned aircraft remains stealthy at the edge of the battlefield to coordinate the overall operation. Upgrading traditional air combat from a nightly duel to a systematic annihilation, China's industrial system advantages are fully demonstrated in this competition. The Taihong Laboratory's 4 Mach intelligent turbofan engine has entered mass production, with performance far exceeding the U.S. military's XA100 variable cycle engine. The mass production cost of rare earth high-temperature alloys is the lowest globally, and the cost of gallium nitride T, our components is only one quarter of the U.S. military's. 3D printed honeycomb titanium alloy bomb bay frames reduce structural weight by 40 percent, and intelligent skin one-piece molding technology eliminates 20 percent of rivets, keeping the unit cost under 80 million dollars, less than half that of the F-35, even in the engine field, which the West views as a technological barrier. China has achieved a remarkable breakthrough. The world's first oblique detonation engine powered by ordinary aviation kerosene has been successfully developed, achieving a flight speed exceeding Mach 16, equivalent to 20,000 km per hour, enabling a flight from Beijing to New York in just 30 minutes. This engine features an 85% shorter combustion chamber and a 40% weight reduction, yet maintains stable operation between 6 and 16 Mach, achieving speeds that Western countries, using their cutting-edge technology, have been unable to match, despite using fuel that they consider outdated. Looking at the competition between China and the U.S. in the sixth-generation fighter jet race, China is advancing on three technical fronts simultaneously, with a fully upgraded supporting system, and has already secured its entry ticket to future aerospace combat. Meanwhile, the U.S. is mired in budget disputes and technical bottlenecks, and the F-47 project may already be outdated before mass production begins. This competition is no longer about who flies first, but rather who can first establish a networked combat system. China's aviation industry has covered the ground that took the West a century to traverse in just two decades, driven by the overwhelming victory of the national engineering system over individual innovation. While the U.S. military is struggling with budget delays for the F-47, China's production lines are outpacing competitors meeting room discussions with a production equals combat capability approach. The successive unveiling of three sixth-generation fighter prototypes not only marks a historic shift from catching up to leading in aerial power development, but also signifies profound changes in global strategic balance, with a new aerospace landscape quietly emerging.